Hey guys, Striker5570 here, and uh, as you can see, I have made quite a bit of progress, so this video might be a bit lengthy, but uh, there's a lot to talk about. Um, first off, uh, you can see I have uh, my E3D V6 hot end attached here. Um, uh, I partially dissected my... Uh, two up just to get all the parts that I needed off of that including the electronics um, which I do have movement which I will show you um, in a few minutes um, but I just have this hooked up here so I could uh, just hook up everything and I didn't have to change the parameters um, in Marlin um, so I could just test the movement because in order to uh, uh, run a print um, it has to get up to temperature first and all that and I didn't want to change the parameters and I had to move that hot in there anyways so um, with that said uh, I only really need to get the extruder set up um, and that's going to be mounted I'm thinking maybe here on the inside or on the outside there um, I kind of like how streamlined that is and um, I could just mount it a teeny bit lower on the rail and the PTF tubing should be able to wrap around there um, and that won't be that big a deal um, but I haven't put this together yet because this requires a, a different size bearing that I forgot to order um, it's not like a your regular skate bearing it's like a those are 608 ZZ and this is like a 625 ZZ bearing I, I believe but um, you can double check the parts lists um, uh, and I'm not exactly sure what the bearing is actually, um, but that's the only thing keeping me from getting that up and running. And I'm also waiting on some PTFE tubing to come in so I can uh, hook that up. Also, the other thing keeping me from printing is, I don't know if you can tell, but the bed is uh, sagging quite a bit, which uh, I'll come over here and I'll show you exactly why. Um, you can see I have it, I've tried to level it you know, by putting these as far up as they go here and these as far down as they go here. But it's still uh, not enough because if I have the hot end here, it touches the bed. No, oh, about touches there. It doesn't there. So it's pretty bad. It needs to come up like another like half inch or so. Um, I just bring it up. So there's quite a bit of sag, and I'm um, not sure if you can tell here, but on the Z-axis sliders, focus please, um, I can't move this wheel unless I really press on it. Um, that's because of the way this is um, torqued down, this has pressure on it. Um, this top wheel is easier to turn. Um, I can move that pretty, pretty easily. Um, this back wheel, same as the uh, front one, really have to press to turn that one. And this back one here, I can just spin. And that's because of this system that these parts were created with, was that they have like a, I'm an elongated hole, and that they tighten, and as you tighten them down, as you tighten the bolts down, uh, they go down this ramp um, to clamp onto the extrusion. However, um, as tight as I get it, it seems to just keep slipping, and I get this sagging motion here, um, and really doesn't have anything to do with these, although these do play a role, like with these pieces being made out of plastic, um, they do, sag just a little bit but most of the um sagging in the uh on the bed is due to this slider here and it's exactly the same on the other one too same exact problem um so my my whole reasoning for going with the uh 60 by 20 was that you know having this spaced out more i mean yeah it'll create more torque but it'll also you know if this system works well it'll resist um, more of that moment that the bed creates um, but it seems to be that's not the case and uh, it seems to be loosening up on me so um, yeah I'll be working on this mainly 
that's going to be my first fix. Once I get that fixed and level the bed um, and have the extruder hooked up, I'll be in business. I'll be printing. Um, but um, everything else is really tight. Like this axis has no wobble at all. Um, and uh, I ordered a few metal corner brackets to replace these in key areas um, because, I don't know if you can tell, but the whole printer shakes back and forth this way. And that also, during a test print, that made the bed wobble quite a bit because it already is loose and with the vibrations of the uh, X and Y axis, it uh, <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Um, but I do have movement and everything. It's all hooked up to the ramps for it, um, which I can show you. All right, so that's plugged in. And then you have the ramp display. I'm not exactly sure how well this comes up. There we go. I forgot to hold my phone with my other hand. There we go. So you gotta prepare. And we can uh, move axes. We can move 10 millimeters. And we can move the x axis here. So, back up a little bit here. So we just moved it. Should be halfway at this point, 150. And that's as far as I have it set to go, which is a uh, um, 300 millimeters. It could go a little bit further um, because I have the end stop there, but I haven't um, set that up yet. I haven't hooked up any of the end stops or um, gone through Marlin to uh, set my preferences. Um, but yeah, that's that's the first end stop for the x-axis. The y is right back there. And I have the z right there as well, which I need to print out a different mount because those um, don't line up as you can see so I will be having a different mount to go on that one but um, there's the x-axis let's uh, show you the y-axis oops prepare and move axis 10 millimeters y And some of these wires, I don't have them uh, long enough to go all the way around. I'll probably have the wires come up front and all all down the side here, and then I'll have the ramps um, board and the LCD mounted up front. I'll have all the electronics run oops run through the uh, extrusions and uh, make it look very nice. So we can uh, bring these all back. Um, Oh, I didn't show you the z-axis here. Move the z-axis. You have to go to one millimeter to move that, because um, it doesn't want you crashing your axis here. So, so if we move that down, you can see it. I don't think I have the steps per millimeter set right. That's just like what stock Marlin had. Um, I haven't gotten to calibrate that or even run it through a calculator or a lead screw calculator but uh let me just show you one more time here But yeah, um, right now it's 105 millimeters. 
down and this keeps timing out when you don't touch anything for a few seconds it times out and it goes back to the main screen that's why I keep having to do this um, but if we go back to Z be able to bring this all the way back up. And it seems pretty slow right now, but uh, I haven't changed any of the settings. That's exactly how it comes. Um, for at least for the Z axis, I have adjusted the millimeters or the steps per millimeter for the X and Y axis. But in short, I have movement. Um, it's pretty exciting, and um, I will hopefully be able to print soon once I have this leveled and the extruder hooked up, which that should be my next video. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you stuck around the whole time, um, um, I'm real happy about the progress that's going on here. I know it's been about a month, but I've been busy with finals. I've, I don't know if you noticed, but I've moved into a new place here, and um, so... Oh, it's good to be back at it. Have a good day.